in the U.S., you're a dairy processor. You collect uh, from farmers that have 500 to 800 cows, and it's very easy to collect that milk because the milk goes from the udder right into a milk chiller, and then the dairy processor collects it uh, twice a day, and it's all automated. In India, there are thousands of farmers that have maybe two, maybe five cows. Those farmers put the milk into stainless steel buckets that they carry on bikes, they walk it to the village center, they aggregate that milk to maybe get 300 to 500 liters of milk in that village per day. But because there are two milkings a day, the dairy processor has to collect that milk in either rickshaws or flatbed trucks and race that milk to a chilling center that's maybe 20 to 30 kilometers away. A lot of this milk comes to the dairy processing plant without being refrigerated at all. Uh, the reason for that is they don't have reliable electricity in those villages to install refrigeration systems. The only alternative they have other than collecting the milk twice a day and not refrigerating it is to use a conventional milk chiller with a diesel generator. Our solution, on the other hand, removes this need for this diesel generator backup. The thermal energy battery, that's its main purpose, is to provide backup for those hours when electricity is not available. Usually that power, it comes when they're sleeping. It never comes when the milk arrives in the morning at 8 o'clock and in the evening at 5 o'clock because that's when the major cities are using the electricity. The villages get the leftover trickle-down electricity typically uh, when they're sleeping at night. And that's when we're capturing that electricity in the form of, of cold storage. It's similar to an electrical battery, but rather than storing electrical energy, we store thermal energy. And the way we store that is through a material that changes phase, basically freezing and melting a material. And then there's another material, a fluid, that rounds around the, this phase change material and extracts the energy or puts the energy back in the battery. And that fluid is what we produce and then we send out to a separate device, a chiller, a rapid milk chiller, that actually cools the milk. It's a win for the dairy processor because they can collect more quality milk. It's a win for the farmers because they make more money for their milk and it's a win for the consumers because it's healthier milk.